demonstrates his particular recipe for saving the tires. Keep them airborne. Practice times in the Targa have no effect on starting positions, but most people try like mad. The Pucci Porsche is the only practice casualty, crashed by Vianini without personal injury, but it isn't the end of Pucci's race, for he is to move in with class on another of the works cars, number 94. The new Porsche is causing bother. Neither Graham Hill nor Joe Bonnier like its handling and opt to drive an eight-cylinder, leaving number 182 to Colin Davis and Gerhard Mitter. Paul Hawkins puts up a good practice time in the big Healy, but there's nobody to touch Sicilian-born Nino Vaccarella in the 275 P2 Ferrari. He's a schoolmaster in Palermo, the popular hero. Local knowledge is a tremendous advantage on a circuit as long as this. Listen to his teammate, Ludovico Scafiotti. You know, Vaccarella, you know, uh, every day when he, he come here to do a bet in the sea, he goes to do a lap in the Targa Flore. Yeah, it's very, very quick, very, very. It's not easy to do the, the same time. Eh? Yes, not very easy to beat, for Vaccarella has just become the first man ever to bet a 40 minutes for the 45-mile Piccolo Madoni circuit, and very hot work it seems to have been. As race morning approaches, the roadmen complete their token gestures, the enthusiasts have decorated the circuit, and the drivers have added some road signs of their own, which can't be found in any highway code. Posters urge the populace to good race behavior, to keep dogs indoors, to sit inside the bends. And here's one which could well be translated as lock up your daughters. 